Hello Aquarius and cross watchers. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Welcome to Natural Healing Tarot. Today we are going to take a look at your weekend guidance tarot reading for January 10th through the 12th. If you guys find the messages helpful or that it resonates with your situation, please feel free to like the video or comment below. Also, if you would like future messages, you are more than welcome to subscribe. Everyone is always welcome here and I upload messages daily. So, Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Let's see for you guys. Also, please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. You are more than welcome to check other signs within your birth chart. It's really about the title. So if there's something in the title that resonates, there's most likely something here in the message. I do do a drawing here every month for free personal readings, which I will be releasing that video later today. If it's something that you want to get entered into, you are more than welcome. All you have to do is comment your astrological sign below. And last but certainly not least, I pull a power thought card at the end of every message. So if it is resonating, it is helpful to stay. That power thought card is just kind of like a little positive boost at the end. So wish fulfillment. Do you see that, guys? Wish fulfillment. Ooh, what are you wishing for, Aquarius? Hmm. Could that be the message? There is a message coming in, okay, obviously. I feel like something that you've been wishing for may be coming in. This could be a relationship. This could have to do with a career, finance. Let's see. Let's see what the tarot has to say. I love those cards. Red. These are very pretty colors together, that purplish blue, green, and red. Now with the fulfillment card, there comes a warning of overindulgence. Okay, so just be careful, be aware, um, pay attention, ask the right questions. Don't get caught up because this is something that you'd wished for, okay? Sometimes the universe will present some a lesson in, in the form of a wish fulfillment, okay? Let's see. Star card, that's Aquarius. Mm. Ten of Cups. Okay, well, this very well could be a wish fulfillment, but still, don't... Any time, you know, is be present, of course, be in the moment, all right? But always ask the right questions, okay? That's all, that's all I mean. That's all I mean. So we have the star card, the ten of cups, and then we have the five of pentacles in reverse. Page of swords. Four of Cups, Four of Swords, Nine of Pentacles in Reverse. So Aquarius. I feel like there, there needs to be some healing, okay? There's several cards coming up here that symbolize healing, okay? Um, the star is one of them, right? The four of swords is definitely a healing card, and the four of cups, okay? This tells me, okay, going within, contemplating, really taking this time to focus on this healing process is what's going to bring in this Ten of Cups. 
you may very well have been through a tumultuous past, you know, something that was very draining, okay? And it caused you to really take a step back, leave that, that mentality, leave that thinking behind, okay? And focus on self. Sometimes we can get caught up in this, focusing on self. We never actually make it to that Ten of Cups, okay? So I know that's your, that's what your wish is. Your wish fulfillment here is the Ten of Cups, is this emotional fulfillment, okay? But it's still a process. And it's a process that can at times seem a little daunting. The self-discovery, self-healing process, okay? Now with the Page of Swords coming out here, I do feel like there is somebody that very well could be spying on this situation, okay? Justice card, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, and the Two of Wands, okay? I do feel like the blockage or the blockage was or the blockage is, um, whichever part of the timeline you're on, um, doing the same thing and expecting a different result. Let's get some fairy tarot out here. The definition of insanity right? Mm -hmm. So by changing your perspective, okay, by reviewing the, the past, taking some time, releasing judgment, it brings on this completion of the cycle, this movement forward. what's standing on the other side this ten of cups four of wands a the four of wands four of spring that's the 11 11 card um happiness deep fulfillment celebration life partner So this is coming in. This person is coming in, okay? But in order to bring this completion in full circle, you have to have a different approach when this person comes in. You can't approach this person, whether it's a past person coming in with a new relationship or it's a completely new person, you can't have the same approach. You have to do things differently this time around. I do want to do an extended reading on this Aquarius. In the extended reading, we're going to take a look at this person, what they're coming, what they're presenting themselves up as, the position that they're coming back in as, or if they're new, the position that they're taking as they come in okay i also want to see where this is headed you know take a couple cards for the outcome um we'll pull out the psychic tarot we're gonna pull out the guidance cards so if that's something that you're interested in the link will be below in the description box for the extended reading the power thought card that's coming out for you aquarius is i am in the process of positive change I am unfolding in fulfilling ways. Only good can come to me. I now express health, happiness, prosperity, and peace of mind. I am in the process of positive change. So Aquarius, if you want to get in on the extended reading, the link will be below in the description box. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for all the love and support, liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.